day here in New York City. I'm the Empire State Building standing up straight and tall today. Hey, tomorrow on the show, John Travolta will be here. Mm. Got a new movie called Bolt. That's right. Bolt. Mm -hmm. And Quincy Jones is going to be here. Mm -hmm. And we also have our Do It Week, well, the, the uh, end of our Do It Week, you know? And not a moment too soon, because I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're going to be my ice cream tomorrow? Yeah. This was my favorite job ever, and if they ever want me to scoop ice cream there again, I will do it whenever they want. It was at Stone, um, Stone, Cold Stone, Cold Stone Creamery. You yeah. know this place? All right. It's phenomenal. We'll look forward to that. It's All right, amazing. here he comes, show business legend, lovingly known as Mr. Warmth. Also, best-selling author, his new book is called Rickles Letters. His last one was on the bestseller list. Please welcome Emmy Award winner, Don Rickles. Hey. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what an exciting show. <laughs> you people got up at dawn just to be here and get a macaroon. <laughs> what a treat. Ah, I feel like a lifeguard. All right, dive in. <laughs> Look at this whole crowd in the front. Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> How are you feeling, John? None of your business. <laughs> He's mad Good, at good me. to see you, Kelly. It's good to see you, too. Why do you think it is that Regis has neglected you on this visit? Because Regis has a new house, and he hit some money, and right away now he thinks he's, you know, he's skyrocketed to fame, and I'll be very honest. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to be with me, with the, with the blanket over the, over, the, over the pants, going... <laughs> Remember that joy when we were with Rickles on our shows? <laughs> That's First thing that goes is the neck, is and I noticed that. Your neck really? is starting to, yeah, put your can on a fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing with you. That is, huh? You know, why are you so tight now? No. Outside with the cops, you were yelling and screaming. Yes. Now, as soon as you see me, the whole body is, like, locked. Why can't you be like Kelly? She has no problem. She's a stick. <laughs> You must work out 24 hours a day, God bless I, you. You know what? I tried to get in the shape. I had to dance with the Nick City dancers. It was very frightening. Damn it, I missed it. <laughs> I'll get you a copy. Okay, sweetie. No, you're a lovely girl. You... Thank you very How's, uh, much. How's Consuelo? What's your name, Consuelo? Consuelo? So Consuelo, yeah. yeah. He sends his love. We call him, from, we call him Consuelo Lord, for he, sure. He, Spanish or Mexican? He's, his father's Mexican. His mother's Italian. Oh. Yeah. So father was both. a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Does he work on the border? No, not <laughs> That's what they do, you know. Her husband used to do that. Go with a flashlight. Two maids, one, one night watchman, and two gardeners. With a flashlight. See, these are two clever things I'm saying, folks. Don't make me put up cards. Don't make me do that. This is all funny stuff. The little kid will be out in a couple of minutes. You can kidnap her and go home early. <laughs> the I enjoy book. I enjoyed the book. David Rosenthal. Of Simon and Schuster says this has a chance to be in a big, big hit. Really? And who's going to read that to you? <laughs> David, I like, and I like David Ritz help me out with it. David yeah, Ritz, sure. The same guy who helped you with the yeah, last book. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's it's different, Rich. It really it's very is. funny because you you the, so much of your humor is your uh, to intonation and yeah, the way yeah, you deliver voice. your jokes. True. It, but you actually convey that through your letters well, I, somehow. Well, thank you. I, but, yeah. but but you write to everybody, including Mayor Bloomberg. I just happened to peel this open, and here it is. Dear Mayor Bloomberg, you're doing a damn fine job running the city of New York. Why? Nobody dresses like you. Just one problem. The slacks are a little too high on the crotch. <laughs> the man's a mayor. What can, he do to, what can he do to me? I'm 82. What is he going to do? <laughs> I'm going to die someday. Let him come to the cemetery and go, you ruined me, and throw some dirt on me. <laughs> When you're 82, you'll find out you're 78 now, right? Oh, you're not allowed to discuss that all. <laughs> no, I'm not 78. 70 what? 71. <laughs> On the left side of your tuchus, <laughs> 77, all right? Well, don't be ashamed of it. <laughs> Don, Don, I think that could possibly be the first time he's ever said that out loud. I bet so, I bet so. And nothing to be ashamed of. 77, you look every bit of it. <laughs> 
too. I'm not ashamed. What's what's wrong? We all get older, you know. You you're, you're young. God bless you. Have a good life. But you gotta get old someday. And when you get old someday, you just sit and you say to the kids, "You're not gonna get a dime." <laughs> Back with more of the Charming Dog Ripper.